What is going on guys and welcome back to Terry's Theories. I am Terry. Hey guys, guess what? Uh, Nikon P1000 has arrived. I am uh, learning my way around it and uh, taking uh, some video uh, trying to catch the best possible capture of the moon. I will be sharing it with you guys soon, so hang in there. And many thanks to everybody who donated towards that camera. It is awesome and more to come on that. Alright guys, so our first video is going to take us to France. Now this is on July the 11th of this year, 2020. And uh, what we've got is a very strange object that is uh, stationary in the sky in France. It's got a very War of the Worlds feel to it. Uh, the way the birds are hovering around it and flying around it, at least that's what it reminded me of when I first saw this. Uh, give me your opinion. Tell me what you believe that this object could be. And I've, after the video, I've got some close-ups and um, to try to get a better feel for what this is. All right, check this out. So what do you think? You know, I don't have a clue what this could be. I, ha I wish I could give you some example or some explanation. And the way the birds are around this thing, it's kind of creepy, uh, to be honest with you. But still, very cool. Um, give me your best opinions. You know, I'm not thinking drone. I don't get drone feel from this at all. Uh, it's not really... <sighs> Could it be a saucer? Yeah. Could it be a weird angle? Yeah. You can tell that it does have what it looks like. It could be a dome on top of it, but I'm just not sure. Give me, give me your opinion, guys, and uh, let's try to figure this one out. All right, guys. So this next one's pretty interesting. This is recorded in Houston, Texas, on June the 27th, um, and posted by YouTube channel Lee Wu Tang. And what we've got here are several orbs traveling in a very peculiar formation they appear to be traveling uh, in a formation in the shape of an arrow and we've got one that is trailing behind that really picks up speed and is very noticeable and even the witness notices how this object uh, really picks up speed is moving pretty fast tell me what you think i do not believe that these are uh, lanterns sky lanterns by any means but that's my opinion uh, give me yours Oh, that's crazy! Yeah. Did you just notice that? that? Did you just notice those? I thought they were drones at first, but they don't make any sound. Wow, that's nuts! Wow! There's another one right there. Oh, they're kind of like lining up too! What? They're so fast. Huh. I was thinking it's a drone. What? They're so fast. Huh. So what do you think, guys? What do you think that these could be? Are we looking at something unknown? Are we looking at orbs? You know, to me, they look like there is some kind of intelligence behind the formation that they're traveling in. Uh, it's just the kind of the vibe that I get from it. And another thing that I've noticed, like here lately, we've had a lot of orb sightings. And then before that, we were getting spherical sightings, like spheres, recorded from airplane windows. 
uh, hovering over people's homes. And then before that, we were getting uh, triangular-shaped UFOs. It looks like there is a pattern to this. For a certain amount of time, we'll get this sighting. And for another certain amount of time, we get that sighting. And I've noticed going through my research uh, that, that it does go like that. You know, I've got a lot of videos that I've found on on orbs here lately. And then before that, there were spheres. And before that, there was triangular-shaped UFOs. I don't know, guys. Is that a thing or is it just me? All right, guys. So our next sighting was captured in Doral, Florida on July the 7th. It is MUFON case number 110107. I need your opinion on this one. What do you think is going on? Do we have a helicopter or do we have an orb sighting? What I find really interesting on this video is that the clouds are illuminated uh, by this uh, orb or this object as it passes underneath it. Um, I don't feel like it is a helicopter. Uh, for just that reason, I don't see why they would be getting light uh, from a helicopter like that. It seems like to me if there was a spotlight, it would be pointing down and not up and possibly not able to do both, if that makes any sense. In my opinion, this is one of the better sightings uh, caught from a uh, ring device. Um, a lot of times I feel like they may be glitches. Uh, this one, I uh, feel like the object was actually, you know, it's not a glitch. It really did catch um, a uh, circular illuminated object uh, traversing the skies there. But uh, give me your opinion on what you think we've got going on, guys. And uh, as always, we will talk about it. All right, guys. So this next sighting was uh, spotted in Columbus, Ohio, and it was recorded by YouTube channel Isla. Um, she was said she was traveling on I-270 when uh, this was spotted. Uh, she started recording, and then halfway through the sighting, she noticed that her camera just died. Um, now, that has been reported before during sightings of batteries are just running low or running dead. Uh, I wonder why that is. Is that a part of the sighting, or is that just, you know, bad luck? I don't know. You tell me. But uh, check this out, and uh, tell me what you guys think. All right, so that was a pretty interesting sighting. What do you think we've got going on? Uh, could it possibly be skydivers? Or do we uh, have a legit orb sighting uh, or crafts traveling in a Chevron formation? Uh, you tell me what you think. Um, all right, so this next video comes from YouTube channel Hydraulic Nose. And uh, what we've got here are some very peculiar uh, clouds, I guess what you would call them. Um, check this out. I thought it was worth showing. Uh, it was pretty interesting. And um, tell me what you think about this. All right, here we go. Now what? I'm better here, guys. All right, guys, so I guess I'm going to wrap up the video. I appreciate y'all tuning in and checking out what I'm laying down here. Uh, if y'all have anything that you would like to share with the group, hey, shoot me an email, terrystheories at outlook.com, and uh, I'll get the video out there, and we can talk about that as well. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe, and donate if you can. Man, we've got PayPal, and we've got Patreon. Uh, we've got a couple of members on Patreon uh, you know, that helps the channel, and of course, donations help the channel. And um, coming soon, we're going to have some videos from the new Nikon. Hey, I appreciate everybody that's donated towards that, and uh, I'm going to start sharing soon on that. 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Terry with Terry's Theories. Terry out.